All right, so let's take a look here at our final step in step one of just creating a site. We've been following the Google um, Educator Center of Learning for this and these six steps. We're going to continue to expand as we get more advanced beyond just this Google Center and tips and tricks that I've used using this site for Google Sites for many years. But for now, I want to show you one last final tip, and then your site should be pretty much functional at this point, which is pretty exciting. And what we're going to do here is take a look at the navigation of how people can navigate your pages. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the upper right to this gear icon. And when we go there, you can see that there's a navigation option here. Now, it's always default to top. That's what we had before. And that's where we had our, our menu pages up here. But you could also choose to put it on the side. And when you do that, you can take a look at it. We'll go into preview mode here that the menu now will be over here on the side as if it's a computer. So you can just play around with that navigation. Do you like the menu on top? Do you like it on the bottom? And probably more importantly with this preview pane here, and, and we'll probably come back and talk about this specifically later on, is you can see what your website looks like on a, on a desktop, okay? What it looks like on a tablet, like an iPad, and then what it looks like on a phone. And so as you're building your website, you can just be aware of what it looks like for navigation. And it is an interactive preview. So this is what it looks like on a phone. If I could go here, I could see what the menu looks like. Um, and then I could X out of here. And I could bounce back up to these settings. And I could say, okay, well, what's it look like if it's on top? And then I'll go preview here and take a look at what the menu looks like uh, from a top lens. You know, we can see here that for the most part, tablet and on the phone, the menu just stays kind of hidden because obviously the screens are pretty tiny. So your last little setup here for your website is to choose, do you want your navigation to the top or to the side? After that, we should have a, a basic understanding, a basic workflow of our website uh, for you to continue to do some personalization and updating to the site. So uh, congratulations. We'll do one more step after this. It's a, a bonus step of publishing it so you can see what that looks like. But for now, your site is, for the most part, ready to rock and roll. Nice job. Virtual thumbs up. And let's keep the learning journey going. All right, my friends. As always, stay awesome.